this Bartell <laughs> update, we have an interview with Michael Bruno, who is the director of Stage Q's production of Psycho Beach Party, which performs most, if not all, of February, right? That's correct. So, uh, yeah, give us a breakdown of the days that are involved. Uh, we open February 12th, and we run the Friday and Saturday for opening weekend. Then we return the next weekend, Thursday through Sunday, with a Sunday matinee. And then the last weekend of the month, we run Thursday through Saturday with the final performance Saturday afternoon, the 27th. A lot of opportunities to catch the production. Nine big productions, <laughs> nine big shows for Cycle <laughs> Beach Party at the Martell. Yes. Exactly. And tickets are $20. Correct. Tickets are $20 for Fridays and Saturday evenings, and they are $15 for Thursdays and the Sunday matinee. And only 80 seats. And only 80 seats. So make sure you catch them early. That's right. And the way we have the set done is that you are entering the world of 1960s Malibu. Ooh. So every seat in the house, you are actually going to be in the environment of surround sand, which is how Dino from Wolf's, who are our set designers, has is, is, is designed the set in there. Let, uh, give us a little bit of a, an overview of what Psycho Beach Party is about. Uh, the plot, the, the, the twist, the, the, the linchpins, if, uh, if any. Uh, it was written by Charles Bush, uh, who originally written as a, a one-act stage play. Mm -hmm. And it centers around Chicklet, who is a teenager who wants to learn to be a surfing queen. And, of course, back in the 60s, it was unheard of to have a female surfing person. Mm -hmm. So if you go back to the old Annette Funicello and Frankie Avalon movies, it's a takeoff of all those God-forsaken beach movies where the hairspray is big yeah. and the boys are all shirtless and they break into, into song every five minutes. Uh, except the twist is, is that Chicklet suffers from multiple personality disorders. Mm. So she ranges from a homicidal maniac who shaves people on the beach uh, to being a manifestation of Ann Bowman, who is a sultry seductress. Uh, and uh, there's many twists and turns in her personality at the beach. It also became a movie that Charles actually sold. So Psycho Beach Party was a movie in which originally Charles played Chicklet, but then he decided that as the years went by, he wrote himself a new character. He actually played a detective who was coming to uh, figure out who the killer was on the uh. beach. Uh, and Charles is actually coming to Madison okay. uh, for opening night weekend. He'll be here for the Saturday performance on the 13th. And then he's doing his cabaret show uh, at the Brink Lounge as a benefit for Stage Q on Valentine's Day at 7 p.m. A lot of really good Charles stuff in that yes, Madison yes. in it, This is the first time that Charles has performed in Madison. Mm -hmm. And it's the first time that any one of Charles's plays, I think, has been performed uh, at the Bartell. But you, you, so this is a show that's 13 years in the making. That's correct. So you meant to do it 13 years ago. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, we had cast the show uh, to do at Club 5 13 years ago mm -hmm. uh, when I had a company called Whoopie Do Productions. And I had just finished uh, directing uh, the eighth Ranger monologue for Stage 2. And we decided, I decided that collectively that the two companies would try to produce one of Charles's shows, Cycle Beach Party. Mm -hmm. We had the show cast and we were going to go at Club 5 and then people got sick or they dropped out or they had other, other commitments and Club 5 was going through a transition and it never came to be. We never actually did, got to produce the show. So in all these past years of having, you know, thinking, gee, when are we going to do it? When are we going to do it? Uh, board of, of Stage Q and I finally decided now is the time to That's bring it into to Madison yeah. and here we are 13 years later actually doing the production. We, you've brought in a uh, and Joey Broyles That's to right. perform some original music? That's right. Originally this was written as a one-act play mm -hmm. uh, with just sound effects and we decided we needed to expand it a little bit because we wanted to have a little more fun and uh, I had seen Joey and I knew Joey and I approached him and said what do you think about writing an opening number to have a little bit of more of a beach party theme. Uh, and he was like, I would love to do that. So he wrote this phenomenal original music um, to go in the opening number, which is choreographed by Angie, or my choreographer. So it's already become this play with music, uh, with, with the incredible talents of Joey Broyles. And we actually have a drummer, James Smith, who's gonna be playing the bongos on stage. So we'll have a more of a musical uh, twist to the show. All right. And a lot of people and the shirtless men and women yes. in bikinis yes. all doing we have, dancing. We have wild the chicks in, in bikinis. We have <laughs> lots of gorgeous surfing boys on their surfboards. Uh, it's a cast of 12 people, some okay. who are veterans. Mm -hmm. uh, Terry Christopher and Donovan Moen, who have been seen in many shows in Madison, are reunited after their turn in Christmas with the Crawfords mm -hmm. a couple winters ago. So, uh, so they're in the show again, uh, playing... Uh, 
uh, Mrs. Forrest and Bettina Barnes, a glamorous movie star. So they will be in drag, in high drag, uh, in beautiful costumes and, and, and wigs and makeup by Joel Dufferin, who also did the costumes and makeup for Christmas with the Crawfords. Mm -hmm. And then we have some kids who have never been in a show at the Bartell or in any show in Madison before mm -hmm. they're making their stage debut. So they're trying, to, like, they're trying to get their little piece of action in between everybody else <laughs> chewing the scenery around them. Oh, absolutely. So, uh, what else can you tell us a little bit about uh, what an audience member can expect? So, there may be many different ways they can be involved or experience the beach in Madison. That's true. Well, every audience member that comes will, of course, get laid. A lay. I mean, they'll get they'll get they'll get a lay around their neck. So that that's part of that comes with the price. Yes. Position. All right. Yes. yes. Uh, there's also a limbo <laughs> number in the show oh. uh, where there may be some audience participation, and if you if you may have the feeling moving you, uh, limbo rock will be in the second act, and we'll mm -hmm. actually have a limbo pole. And so people may actually, you know, be invited to come on stage and do the limbo with us. For the show. So bring your Hawaiian shirt. Exactly. Get involved. Yes. So, yeah, so please come in beach attire because we'll have the heat turned up. Uh, because it'll be, the whole place is going to be rocking with Rocky Horror <laughs> upstairs and Psycho Beach Party in the Ebu. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you're encouraged to wear Hawaiian shirts or wear a bikini. Um, I don't think they invented Speedos yet, so you'd have to wear some kind of like clam digger kind of pants. Ah, um, but, but bring Speedos yeah, if, but if you want to wear a so Speedo. Inclined. Far be it for me to say don't wear a Speedo. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll also have some special drinks at mm -hmm. the Tiki Bar, uh, and we'll also have a cardboard cutout. You can get your picture taken. Uh, as a lovely beach dude or a mm -hmm. lovely beach, beach chick. Yeah, I don't have my six pack. I'll well, have to. It's already painted it's on. It's already it's painted like, on. Exactly. So I'll have it. <laughs> All right. Exactly. So, yeah, so it's, it's a real audience uh, participational experience from the minute you walk into mm -hmm. the Ebu Theater. You'll be you'll be transplanted into the beach in Malibu in the 1960s, which is great from Madison in the yes. middle of winter. Exactly. Absolutely <laughs> right. It's going to be an exciting February for the Bartell Theater because there's going to be Psycho Beach Party in the Evview and Rocky Horror in the Upstairs Drury. I'm anxious to see both of those shows, and uh, I hope everybody listening and watching goes to see them as well. All right, thank you, Michael Bruno. Thank you for having me.